Mm. Award-winning Maryland lump crab cakes, seared North Atlantic salmon, sun-dried tomato basil. For such a small restaurant, the menus are huge. You need a couple more minutes? Or? I'm dying to taste the award-winning Maryland crab cakes. They are excellent. And award-winning? What award did they win? You could ask Billy. He knows more about it. I thought you'd know about it if you're the manager and it's on the menu. Well, I... I anyway. I... <laughs> I'll have a, a zucchini pancake. Okay. And I'll go for the seared North Atlantic salmon, I think. Thank you. God, that guy needs some spark. Beanbag. He is intimidating to serve. Okay, these are the Maryland crab cakes. Thank you. And the zucchini pancakes with chive you. sour cream. Lovely, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. May I ask what you think of the crab cakes? Yeah. May I ask you not to stare at me? Absolutely. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. No problem. You know, I've got this cockroach on your back, you're trying to shake off, and I like to just sit and enjoy my lunch. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Mm. Award winning, maybe not. In terms of freshness, yeah. I wouldn't expect to find something so fresh in such a dreary, dreadful dining room. Zucchini pancakes. Stodgy, bland, and just pretty thick. It's like having a mouthful of glue. Oh, oh my god, what's that on top? Tomato base of balsamic sauce. Mm -hmm. You smell garlic. Where's the garlic from? Is that on the green beans? The shallots. There no is garlic? No garlic no? in any of the ingredients. And then on the beans? Looks like there's garlic on there. <laughs> Why don't you just check with him? I can smell it anyway. I will. That looks like garlic. I mean. Thank you. Billy? What? The string beans. You cook them in garlic? Yeah. Is there any shallots in there at all? No shallots. Salmon very bland, and the sauce just heavy, soggy, and vinegary. Garlic everywhere. No one wants to come out to lunch and stink of garlic, that's for sure. You know, Billy's getting a little nervous. Like, am I about to get reamed right now? You know? I don't know what to expect, to be honest. When you first walk in that dining room, you get this depressing manager jumping on you, which is a great shame. I'm sure five years ago, you had some form of spark. The food, the crab cakes were good. Thanks. Yes, that was the high point. Everything else, unfortunately for me, just bland. Really? Pancakes were soggy and fish was dry. The salmon just, it just looked old fashioned. Can I ask you an honest question? Yes. It was our 10 year anniversary and we say for our 10 year anniversary, everybody gets complimentary of pancakes. Yes. Now everybody tells me they love them. If you give something away and it's free, who's going to complain about it? That never happens. So either he's crazy, or every customer that comes in here is lying to me. I want to come back with a plan and bang. It didn't blow me away today. I'm not that excited about it. It's very average, very dreary, and it's very sad. End of story. OK? See you later, yes? It makes me feel terrible when Gordon says he doesn't like my husband's food. You know, of course I'm going to take the fence to that. Gordon is wrong about the restaurant. My position is the manager, so I am not intimidated by anybody. Bring it on. OK, well, I'll start off with the um, crab cakes, please. OK. I like the idea of the pesto lobster ravioli. I'll go for the Atlantic salmon uh, blackened, please. Call me a pig. OK. I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah, well, at least she's honest. Place stinks. I feel this place is a nightmare. I don't think I haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> uh, who's this? That's Chef Ramsay. OK, no problem. Uh, one order of crab cakes. <laughs> Go. This place is falling apart. Let's hope the food's good. Oh, hey, come here, crab cakes. Parsley everywhere. It just falls apart. A bit like the decor. You touch it and it just disintegrates. They're not fresh. They've got it wrong on the menu. It's not a crab cake. It's a crap cake. Because I feel if I eat any more, I'll be crapping for the next 105 years. Are they frozen? I don't think so. Would you ask them for me? Sure. They taste frozen. OK. Thank you. Doug, you make the crab cakes here, right? Yes. Are they frozen? I freeze them, yeah. He says they taste like they're frozen, that's all. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck you. They are frozen. Mm-hmm. Damn. More parsley. Mm. Soggy. Strange taste inside. They're definitely not fresh. Uh, on that uh, Cajun salmon, you want you still want the uh, sautéed spinach and the pesto, or? Yeah. What is that? That is pesto. Is it good? Well, it's just all separated and sort I know, of curdled. I have no idea. It looks like an oil slick. Yeah, and it's never on the sides. It's, it's usually served on the fish. When I served him the salmon, he did have something to say about the pesto sauce. It was tainted, so to speak. And the salmon is just solid inside and dry. And God, you can't expect customers to come and pay for that shit. You definitely have to try my homemade Greek cookies. And I bet you you're going to say you never had a better one. Oh, Chef Ramsey. He's a lot like me. I love him. When you eat that cookie, you lift it up and you buy it. <laughs> Fuck me. You got water? I'm surprised you guys are still alive. <coughs> he just choked on your mother's cookie. Ooh. I mean, I don't have an answer. I don't. Cheers. Right, it's almost ready, Jane. I feel like inviting my grandma for lunch. Could you not have got a bigger basket? I feel sorry for that poor, lonely bread roll in there. Let me just have a look at it before you serve it. Yeah. Oh, Christ, I feel like saying a prayer. So, um... A lunch menu and a dinner menu. Ooh, they've mixed greens with sunflower seeds, dried cranberries and Montrachet cheese. God, is there anything plain on here, Jane? I think it's all good. Thank you for that. Is the crab fresh? No, it's canned. It's canned? Mm -hmm. We'll can that one, then. Baby spinach salad with strawberries, goat's cheese, asparagus, hard-boiled egg and grilled garlic shrimp. Strawberries and shrimps? Mm-hmm. I'll start with that, please, as my appetizer. Absolutely. I've got to think about a chef's perception of food when he starts to put strawberries with fresh garlic shrimps. We'll see how he likes it. He's a customer. Customer is almost always right. Dear God, for what we're about to receive, may the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. Mm. Oh, Jesus. That's disgusting. I'll wait for the next course. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Sadly, the uh, prawns are uh, stone cold and undercooked. OK. Uh, yeah, prawns are undercooked and cold. When he sent the first dish back, I knew that we were going to have a little problem. Yeah, I wrote for stuff for AFP, stuff for pink. Thank you. OK, bon appetit. Big, dirty, greasy chip plate and, like, a big, overgrown ball of pubic hair. Deep fat fried. I'm fucked if I'm eating that shit, that's for sure. As tough as old boots. Fine if you're a fucking rabbit. How was your steak? Um, carrots were raw. Steak was tough. Um, and that was just a big ball of grease. Um, the play was interesting. Especially with the chip. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. It's lazy, it's dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw. Your steak was tough, and your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. Big ball of grease? Nightmare in Grandma's house. Fuck me. Thank God she's dead. Michelle definitely does not respond to criticism. He likes to be the man. You seem proud of that food. You seem quite... Yeah, I like it. You like I, it? Yeah. yeah, I think it's good. I mean, don't take this personally. Yes. I thought your food was crap. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long-winded, boring, and just, you know, badly done. Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I don't get complaints about the food. The only complaint I might get is uh, a food cold. Jane, 
I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his asshole. I've just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. Oh, God. You know, not... Are you that fucking arrogant? A matter of opinion? No, I'm not being that arrogant. If you're such a passionate chef, then you are a natural, because you're French and, yes. you know, uh -huh. you love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving tin crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab. Goes bad really fast, so I have to buy this uh, this crap. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down. Okay. The how stupid you are. I don't think he likes Michelle. Menu, spelt incorrectly all over the place. Were you ready to order? What is that there, Shivas? What is one? C H I V A S, Shivas. Chives. Oh, chives. Can't even spell chive properly. Okay, chives. Let's go with a small bowl of the tomato basil. OK. And I'd like to see the uh, nachos. We actually don't have the shrimp nachos today. We have a chicken nacho. So no shrimps today? No shrimps. So no shrimp cocktail either? OK. Um, I'd like the sign of the salmon. Uh, we don't have the salmon today. You don't have the salmon either? No. No. Would you have tuna, no? Uh, I'm not sure. No? OK. We don't have anything, and it's really just its irritating the shit out of me, because I hate to tell customers that we don't have anything. I'll go for the speciality of the house, the roasted um, rack of lamb. The rack of lamb? In a chocolate mint sauce, please. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It's very disappointing when you sit down and start ordering, and then half the food's not available on the menu. OK, this is your order. Bring it. Everything he ordered, we don't have. He wanted the shrimp nachos, we don't have shrimp. He wanted the shrimp cocktail, we don't have shrimp. For us to sit there and have to tell customers, oh, we don't have this and we don't have that, it gets frustrating for me because we should have everything. Wow. Here you go. Lovely. I'm not nervous at all. What do I need to be nervous for? You know? He's a man just like I am. Interesting. How is everything? It tastes like it's canned. Yeah. So it says homemade soup on the menu, and it's brought in. Can't the chef make tomato soup? Probably. I thought this was fine dining. So did I. So <laughs> I'll wait for the next course. OK. Chicken nachos? Oh, God, that was quick. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. Oh, who's that shouting? What, 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 what? Oh. Our executive chef, Ricky. Look at them diamonds on that. Diamonds on my fish, good. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish, good. Diamonds on my fish. You have an executive chef in the house? Yes. And he buys in processed food? Say so what? Yes. Ah. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. We got diamonds on the fish. I'm good at my job. I love my recipe. I let my work speak for itself. Fine dining nachos. Something's not quite right. How is everything? Uh, yeah, really weird. Are they fresh nachos or are they bought in? Uh, the chef makes them fresh in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they were made fresh this morning, my darling. Ricky, when did you make the tortilla chips? Oh, uh, yesterday. I'm about to walk home right now. The nachos, like, it was the cheapest thing he's ever seen. What the fuck can you do with nachos? You know what I mean? What well, they call them nachos. That's why it's an appetizer, you know? Oh, God. Here is our main concept of the restaurant. What we have is 20 different combinations of marinades, toppings, and seasonings. What you do is you choose one, and then you add it to either chicken, portobello mushroom, New York strip, or shrimp. Angus ribeye, prime cut, that's cut for Sebastian's. You can have one of these combinations with an entree, with chips and gravy on the side, if you'd like, with one of our side salads. You can really see his face. He's in there explaining the menu. And Chef Gordon looks like his head's going to explode. <laughs> Available at any point in time, we have a half pound Angus Prime burger. I had actually 20 more. Are you serious? Yes, sir. God. I've never heard such a complex menu in my entire life. Probably not. OK. Um, OK, I'm going to start with some um, calamari. Calamari? Yes. Um, they're fresh? Yes, it is. Small portion of calamari. OK. Um, Chef Gordon questioned the, the quality of the calamari. Uh, my calamari is fresh. And then for um, my entree, I'd like to have a New York strip. OK. Can you make me a little uh, fresh pizza? What you type decide. of pizza would you like? You, you, you I'll decide. decide. Yeah? Perfect. Thank you. 
Lou, set me up a small dough, please. And what's your name? Sonia. Sonia, good Hi. to see you. Nice to meet and you. What'd you do? Um, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yes, I am. Ah. Put her up! Do you play with Sebastian? Because he's an actor. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I haven't. And the calamari. Uh, are they fresh or are they frozen? They are frozen. Frozen. told me they're fresh, and they're not fresh, they're frozen. That confirms two things. Shit chef, and a dishonest one. Can I get you anything? No. A sick bag? He asked me for a sick bag, which I was, didn't know what to say, so I was like, OK. <laughs> oh, God. He said that he wanted a puke bag. Excellent. Fantastic. I didn't know what to say, though. You don't have to say anything. OK. You say yes, sir, and walk away. OK. No problem. OK. Sebastian, just you could tell in his face that he wasn't very happy with the comment. I understand the guy's a professional, but to say something like that, a sick bag, come on. This is the house speciality? Um, yes. Yes, and what kind of pizza is it? What flavor? It's a Popeye pizza. Popeye? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hey. Hey. So I got the chef here, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's in the dining room eating. Oh, really? Yeah. He, uh, he thinks my food is terrible. He thinks your food is terrible? Yep. The waitress asked, can I get you anything else? He said, yeah, a sick bag. Oh, sir. Yeah. I don't agree with his opinion. Uh, throw him out. Ah, uh, <laughs> throw him out. Yeah. Yeah. With two wood-burning ovens there, I thought at least they would be able to be in a position to do a, a stunning pizza, but the base is soggy, it's all watery. Surely to Christ they make a fresh pizza dough here. Sonia, I want you to plate it to him, and I want you to say, as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. Manja? Yeah. And as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. <laughs> Very difficult to manger without yes, my knife and fork. Of course, I'm sorry. I should have brought you a clean one. You've got the part. Thanks. Relax. Okay. It looks like a can of dog food. What an embarrassment to New York strip steak. I, I want to see you and Ramsey uh, chug. Chug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke. Tuck them in the bed. Good night, Chef. <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I've been in the kitchen for a long time. I'm almost positive we'll get a good review. When you get a family business right, it goes on for generations. And here, it doesn't feel like a family-run business at all. Pubs are full of atmosphere, fun. It's got tweed neck curtains, like you're going to visit your granny. Weird. Here you are, some spring rolls with Coleman's mustard. Wow. God. It's a very strange, bizarre looking spring roll. Oh. Uh, are they popular on the menu? Um, people really like them. No doubt half the customers are drunk. This is the tough half hour of my life. Not a big hit. You like it? No. Brian's in the kitchen, like, wondering. I'm just like, nope. Are you kidding me? He really thought that I was going to walk back there and be like, he loved it. You know, he, he wants you to come work for him. Come on. Let's try that one. Let me get you some clean silverware. Thank you. Go on. And what's this stuff with, please, uh, Melissa? On top is a balsamic reduction. He likes to use that a lot. He likes that, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. He On everything, he puts a little drizzle on. A little? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Always the sign of a very insecure chef when he macerates everything in pulse wound vinegar. Look at this. Ah, horrible. Doesn't taste of salmon at all. Off through? Does my shepherd's pie have any pulse wound vinegar? No. Good. Lovely. I don't even think he likes the water. He said, um, oh, will my shepherd's pie have any balsamic vinegar on it? I said, I can assure you it will not. Do I? Do I dare? 
time. I don't like to come off conceited or cocky. I'm very good at what I do. I know the back of the house very well. I've done everything that's out there. Let's try that one. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just a big ball of grease. Just very, very greasy. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> That's disgusting. Tony? Second door on the left. Oh. <coughs> oh, no. My God, something made it made him sick. I don't know if he went in the bathroom and threw up. But he ran in, he ran into the bed. <coughs> oh my god. What is going on in there? God. The brow. Relax. <laughs> uh, I thought you'd gone home. No. No. He's waiting for your soup. I hope Gordon's satisfied. If he's not, I'm sure he's gonna let us know. You're just bland and tasteless. That one was definitely not worth the wait. How is everything? Are they made here, these? Or are they bought in? They're filled with veal. Oh, no, I know it's, I'm, trust me, oh, I, don't, I, I know what it okay, was. I'm that sorry. wasn't the question I asked. They're homemade, yes, they're bought in from a place that makes them homemade. Thank you, is it popular? Yeah, um, somewhat. I love the way you skip over it. Are they popular? <laughs> Not too many people order it as much, no. So, no. Thank you, mate. You're welcome. Mm. I think Gordon's going to drive me crazy by the end of it all. It's going to drive us all crazy. Homemade means made on site. End of story. Cut the crap. Fill her up. All right, let's take them out. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So this is the grilled sausage in there, yes? Yes, yes. Lovely. Mm. Garlic everywhere. Big, big, big chunks of it everywhere. Hey, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't want to go back to the office with that breath, would you? Gordon found that we had too much garlic in our sauce. Jesus. I tend to like garlic, so I never really noticed it. OK. Thank you. OK, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I would like a toothbrush now, please. You want to know if it's too much garlic? Stupid bitch. I think it was just fine. Personally, for me, if I was eating that, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Off I go. Here you go. Excellent. Cacio chicken. What is that on top that there? That is grilled zucchini. OK. Ribbons. Holy mackerel. Looks like a bison's tongue. It's dry, it's sweet, and it's... <sighs> Oh, dear. He didn't like the chicken, didn't like the sauce, didn't like the crust, thought it was well done, hated it. One thing that fascinated me throughout that whole lunch, all I could hear was laughing and joking and lots of screaming coming out of the kitchen. Um, I was pissed off waiting. You don't expect to hear all that laughing and giggling when you're sat there waiting on all your food. The tortellini of veal was just bland and watery. Then my uh, grilled sausage. I've never seen so much garlic in addition all my life. Gordon called me out on my food. I'm not fucking happy. Italian food is about russicness, phenomenal ingredients, and something that's relaxed and casual, but in a delicious way. Yeah. And I just found it you know, somewhat boring, to be honest. You'll see us rock it out. Go on. My food, I think, is, is pure and honest and good. I think it was a mistake that I did this. Fuck, oh, man.